my friends uh you have seen the title and that's what we'll be talking about today so uh, god gave me a lot of um, divine encounters and they were all pointing to actually this time that we are living in right now and uh, i will try to i will not be able to cover all of them but i will try to cover a couple of them two or three of those quickly very quickly i will leave a lot out of those and just come to the point um in one you know the let us get started so in in the uh, so it's it's about the as you have seen the title elections uh, uh, you know uh, between Pre president trump and biden and also the shakings and god's agenda god's plan to be accomplished that is the main thing because god will accomplish his plan no matter what happens so let us get started here the first uh, divine encounter the lord gave me which um, very clearly talks about what is happening right now is that he um, he showed me in this dream conviction that I was uh, sharing uh, um, the, the word um, at some Christian gathering and there were lots of people were sitting in front of me and um, as I was sharing I noticed uh, there were ceiling fans and on the ceiling fans were some snakes they were not some snakes actually they were lots of snakes I mean there were so many snakes that it was hard to see even the fan so uh you know uh, so the after that i started to um when i saw those snakes i started to warn the people snakes snakes and the people started to run and um and when the snakes and after that the snakes started to fall off of the uh, uh this uh, these fans and but before they would hit the ground they would just disappear and uh and after that uh, i just came out of this dream conviction and the uh, i started to pray it didn't make any sense these fans and all of that so i said lord what does that all of these things mean so the lord started to give me more and more revelation you know he gives you some then he gives you more and more revelation what he had um the uh, dreams or the visions he had given to you so he started to show me that um what are the fans for i said the fans are for giving air and uh and he said the yes the demons are the uh, and the snakes are the demonic forces the snakes are the demonic forces and they are in the air they are in the air in the heavenly realm which you all know i have already spoken about that that we are on the earth and um and there is a heaven where god is and in in between is the heavenly which is um demonic powers are there so they operate very easily on the earth so because they are in the heavenlies so the lord said these uh, the devil himself has loosed as the bible says that in the end time he will lose his demonic forces the power of darkness and and uh, they have been released and and it's increasing uh, with the, uh, uh, every day actually so he said these are the demonic forces that have been released to manipulate people of working on the earth and they can only work through the people so they enter into humans into human bodies who are not um, strong in the lord they enter into their bodies and they do what the devil's agenda is or the wickedness agenda is so this is what the the enemy or those snakes represented that those were the demon forces and they have been working for some time right now through people to accomplish the agenda of the devil himself that uh, that uh, they want to accomplish on this earth but at the same time the lord also gave me another vision dream of um, angel a very big warrior angel that the lord um, i saw in the heavens and he um, and he the i heard the audible voice of the lord saying this has been assigned to you so when the lord says this has been um, assigned to you he's talking about the church that the angel has been because in in previous encounter the lord uh, spoke to me that you represent my bride i will not go into the deep tells if you want to go maybe you can go in my previous videos in one of the videos um i have shared all of these things so but anyways the lord said the, the, this angel the warrior angel has been assigned for the church because there and after that uh, i had another um, actually uh, encounter which is uh, i was praying i was just praying and all of a sudden i started to see 
there were lots of like an army of angels coming out of heavens and like they were going on a mission i mean it was like they were just flying you know and and so so the lord said these have been assigned to to they have they will be fighting against these demonic forces and they they are they will be stopping and they are actually it's right now happening already that they are um, uh, stopping the agenda of the uh, devil himself to be accomplished on the earth at this time you know there is a time that it will be accomplished but not at this time so that's why the you know if god wants he can you know one minute you know though all these demons can be stopped but there is a time appointed time uh, by god for everything and i cannot get into too much of details but we the lord said there is a war going on right now and and this war is causing the shakings upon the earth the shaking that we have been seeing in the from the beginning actually of this year and we have been you know on a other level also we have been seeing shakings a little bit before but mainly in in 2020 we have been seeing the shakings and it it's in the form of even covid uh, coronavirus and that the people internationally very important word is internationally happening at the same time all over the world there has never been any virus like that that has happened at the same time all over the world for such a long period of time this is the first time so this is the uh, shakings that um, uh, are happening and the shaking is uh, is being caused to the people it is being caused internationally it is the people all over the earth are being shaken businesses are shaken governments are shaken non government people are shaken school college institutions are shaken restaurants hotels are shaken everything is shaken nobody there is no normal right now there is no normal that people in america have been used to and uh, and other countries as well so this is has caused the shaking and that also the lord showed me uh in one of the dreams and visions that there was a shaking going on uh in the heavenlies and on the earth even where i was the lord showed me that where i was standing under my feet there was shaking going on the earth was shaking you know confirming the hebrew chapter 12 i think verses from 24 on verse 25 26 you will see the lord said one more time i will shake the heavens and the earth so we are um, in we are now into that time period right now and uh, as we go further this shaking that um, you know this uh, covid thing and now from that further down the something good is also but that is actually shaking of the believers which is good in a sense because god is accomplishing his agenda and uh, this shaking of the believers and that has happened because of the result of these elections because of the result of these election between president trump and biden whatever the outcome people are seeing right now that has caused the believers there is a shaking the believers have been shaken and the believers are for the first time for the first time all again internationally remember i was telling you before something happened internationally the first time this is happening also for the first time that believers because of the election results the outcome which is not really right now finalized but what the people are watching and what is being um shown to the people that is what is that this is causing such a shaking to the believers not only in america but all over the world they are all becoming one they this is the oneness this is the oneness jesus christ spoke about in john 17 he he was praying to the father before he went to the cross jesus said i am praying not only for this these disciples but for everyone further down who will come to know him and and uh, through the word that would be priest and we are included in that we are the ones that are included in that jesus was praying for so this jesus was praying for oneness we have seen different things unity but we have never seen oneness internationally people in india people in other countries philippines and and all over the world europe and other places they are joining together praying for the change in the uh, in the res uh, results they are praying for president trump to be elected as the president to come back for the second term and and 
God said, if you remember, so what Jesus prayed in John 17 is coming to pass in 2000 years right now. It has never happened internationally. Believers are praying for one thing. And now that is... Uh, you know, we know in, in um, Genesis, I think it's 11. Genesis 11, when uh, this uh, um, in, uh, King Nimr Nimrod, King Nimrod was building that tower, Tower of Babel. And, and they were just going with their, you know, this building was just coming up higher and higher. And, and then it is written in the Bible. Then, the, then God said, the people are one. The people are one. And when the people are one, nothing can stop them to accomplish what they are going to do, what they are planning to do. So do you see that that is God's word, that when people are one, nothing can be stopped. No, nobody can stop them from accomplishing what they want to accomplish right now. What is that is happening right now? We are all one. That is why I was laying emphasis on oneness and one. Everybody internationally is praying fasting and praying and interceding for um, the election results so that President Trump can come to the second term also. And so this is uh, uh, this is not going to be because when all of our being one and doing it, it is going to be accomplished. God will make sure his word will never fail. His word will never fail. And another thing is God has showed us such a, you know, um, because uh, before that even, God wants to um, accomplish his agenda. He has appointed times of dispensations, seasons of dispensations, because that dispensation of grace is coming towards the end. And the final dispensation, if you have watched my previous videos, of his kingdom, the eternal kingdom is about to come before which the heart, uh, before which um, the, the, um, the rapture has to take place. So God has is bringing forth, this oneness is bringing forth the 11th heart generation that was mentioned in Matthew 20. And Matthew 20 says, it, it's, it's, just, it's uh, uh, almost like a story representing Jesus going hiring people, you know, at six o'clock in the morning, nine and 12, and then three o'clock. And then he goes at five o'clock one hour is left from five to six the time is about to finish work is about to finish god's kid dispensation of grace is about to finish eternal kingdom has to come so this this is the hour those people that were hired in at five o'clock they were able to wrap up the whole work they were able to um that that is why the owner was so pleased with them that they he um, was happy to give them the same uh, amount of wages that were given to the people that were previously working for maybe 30, 40, 50 years. Because these people, they were on fire kind of people. These are the people of the 11th hour generation. They are the ones who will accomplish that. So now, uh, according to John 4, uh, sorry, not John, Revelation chapter 14 verses, I guess, 6 or 7. There also it says the angel is preaching. He's saying that the, he's preaching the good news. And then he's saying the hour, the hour of his judgment has come. So judgment, that means the hour of judgment, which hour between 5 and 6 and, and the hour of judgment. Judgment. That is therefore that work has to be done between that hour and then once the work is done at six o'clock and the rapture is taken place and the, um, all the 11th hour generation is gone and everybody is gone then the hour of judgment is finished there I mean sorry not the hour of judgment but the rapture is taken place but the judgment starts at that time. So what God is saying here is that he has allowed actually these election because if the election results would have been just favorable, everybody would have gone their own way, just back to sleep and back to, you know, their own agendas. Nobody would be praying at this time. Nobody would be, you know, internationally specifically, you know, uh, but sometimes God shakes. That is what I was talking about. Shaking. He shakes. He allows his people to be shaken because God's plan has to be accomplished and he accomplishes through people devil accomplishes through people and god accomplishes through through people god has raised up many many esthers and and he has raised this that is a big sign so they that that what we are praying for we are one it shall be accomplished nothing to worry about that it shall be accomplished so have peace and have have rest but do not stop praying do not stop uh, interceding and and that is what the message that the lord has given to me is uh, about this that he will do he has raised up the esther the esther is uh, will do and more than one esther actually but it will happen 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in Jesus Christ's name that you will touch the people, that they will have peace, but they will not stop interceding. They will not stop praying. Lord God Almighty, because as the demonic forces are working and uh, to, towards their agenda, to um, and, and so Lord, let your people empower the angels by their prayers, by their intercessions, Lord. So we have the victory and we will, we shall have the victory, Father. We thank you, Lord that you have already approved of what the people are praying for right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.